Hey everyone, Brian Balon here. Trying not to do these at night. I was on a conference from about 9.30 this morning till about 6.15, 6.20. Just getting out and actually it was still going. I left early. Uh, <clears throat> well, it was supposed to be done at six, but supercharged content, great sort of mindset, leveling up type stuff. And uh, definitely what I, I came to look for and uh, expected and you know it was one of those what's next for me you know type of situations in my real estate business and i think this answered some of it and what's awesome about it is it's only day one there's a whole day tomorrow from nine to six love it so uh, great stuff and realize when i'm stuck it's either a vacation or it's another sort of mastermind conference coaching session right getting questions answered take things higher so it was said one time that if you're stuck or if you're trying to need if you're trying to get a breakthrough or need a breakthrough you're one relationship away and this is what it was this conference for me was sort of a getting proximity with people who are producing and who are doing awesome things in their business and real estate so uh, one takeaway I had though was actually in the morning I heard about a this idea of auditing your time and auditing your life and getting it down to a place of systems and processes so intentionally that you know every little thing is easy to do like make it easy to do good habits make it really difficult to do bad habits and to me I just think about that and scheduling is a big struggle and getting really consistent and honed in and dialed in into just doing things that are like the activities that I'm uh, committed to doing every single day to create the results that I want, having a hard time scheduling that in and staying committed to that. So easy to get distracted. And one of the, one of the, the benefits of scheduling and planning is the opportunity to eliminate distractions. So that's something I'm going to be working on uh, is eliminating distractions, auditing my time, how I spend it, and getting some more filters and accountability on my phone and on my devices because he was saying that the average distraction throws us off for 11 minutes. It takes 11 minutes to recover. So those are my takeaways. Got day two, day two tomorrow. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.